Hello and welcome to a video tutorial on importing and generating message chats in WebSphere Message Broker version 8 from Transformer Tech Inc. Today we're going to be showing you how to import and generate a message set from an XML schema file as well as a COBOL copybook. And to do this, we're going to create a message set from an XML schema. We're going to create a message set from a COBOL copybook. And finally, we're going to build a flow to map from XML to COBOL. The XML schema is going to define the structure of the XML, while the COBOL copybook is going to define a fixed length structure that's usually found in mainframe COBOL applications. To create a message set from XML, first we're going to create a message set project and message set. Then we're going to import an XML schema into our toolkit. Then we're going to generate a message definition file from that XML schema. Okay. To create a message set from COBOL copybook, we're going to create a message set project and a message set. Then we're going to generate message set definition from copybook. Finally, we're going to build a flow for mapping. We're going to create an MQ input node. Then we're going to make a mapping node to map from XML to COBOL. And finally, we're going to have a file output node. All right, and before we jump into the toolkit, first we're going to take a really quick look at the uh, XML schema file and the COBOL copybook that we're going to be using to create our message sets. As you can see here, we have um, the name of our elements, the complex types right in here, and all the element names for our XML are right here inside this schema file. So we're just going to go ahead and import that and then create a message definition file from it. And the Cobalt Copy Book is kind of the same deal. We have our element names, our field names, and then we have our fixed lengths um, also for our data structure. All right, let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'm going to do is create a message set for our XML. Message set, let's call it XML in. Okay. And once that's created, we're going to set it to the MRM domain. Then we're going to go ahead and create a message definition file from our XML schema. The XML schema is going to describe what the sending application XML is going to look like. So we can just go ahead and import it, and it will create our uh, message set definitions for us. So we'll just browse to it. All right, once you have it selected, we're going to select the root tag, hit finish. And as you can see here, we have all the elements and their fields already put in for us. We don't have to do it by hand. It's much faster and much more efficient to do it this way. Now that we've created our message set, we're just going to go in here and create an XML wire format. Alright, our next step is going to be creating the message set for our output to COBOL. So I'll create a message set. We're going to call COBOL out. Alright, we're going to set it to MRM for our message. We're going to save it really quickly. And I'll show you why in one second. So we're going to get our message definition file from. Then we're going to use our COBOL copybook file. And why I saved it before is because once you set it to the MRM domain, you get this option here to create a physical format right from the data. So you don't have to go in and create your own binary COBOL copy format. All right, I'm going to select it from outside the workspace. And just change this here to copybook. And we'll select it. Next. That's the source that we want. Select it again. Click finish. And as you can see, without doing it by hand, saving us a lot of time, we have the data structure already set up. All right, our next step is going to be to create our message flow. So we'll create a new message broker project. I'm just going to call it XML to COBOL. And we'll set our message sets as references. Flow name is going to be the same thing. Right. And then the first thing I'm going to do is create an MQ input node. We already have a queue, it's called xml.in. So that's a queue name here. Right. And for the input mess parsing, our domain is going to be MRM. Our model is going to be the XML in. Message is going to be sample input. And the physical format is XML1. Alright, after we created our MQ input node, we're going to go ahead and create a file output node. Here. And we already have the directory. We're just going to call it cobol.out.txt. Right. Okay, once our output is finished, we can go ahead and create a mapping node. We're just going to call it 
at what it does. Let it create. The inputs are going to go to our mesh sets, XML, sample input. And for outputs, COBOL, output. And we can just go ahead and start wiring these up, ins and outs. Very simple mapping. And contact. Alright, now we can go ahead and save the mapping. We can start wiring our flows into outs. Save it. And we can go ahead and deploy it. And we open up our FH util to work with our queue. And we'll go down to the queue that we have. And we're going to open our XML file for our input. And we can see it in the data. Right here it has a name, all the name information, address, contact. All right now that it flows deployed, we can go ahead and write this to our queue. And we'll let that run for a second, and then we'll go ahead and check in the output. And there it is, our text file. And as you can see, we have the data here separated by padded by spaces. Exactly how it was in the XML file. And in conclusion, we're just going to go over what we did again for importing and generating method sets. First, we created a message set from an XML schema file by creating a message set project and a message set, importing the schema file and creating a message definition from that schema file. Then we created a message set from a COBOL copybook simply by creating a message definition file from a COBOL copybook. And then we built the flow to map from XML to COBOL with an MQ input node, a file output node, and a mapping node. Thank you for watching this video on importing and generating message sets in WebSphere Message Broker version 8 from Transformatech Inc. Be sure to check our blog, our website, and our YouTube channel for more videos and tutorials.